Hello guys, good evening, happy Friday, it's now the weekend, well for some people, some people still have to work, welcome back, thank you for joining me, and I've finally got the reason why this is called um, Fathers and Sons, so with um, that Brutus guy, isn't it, and his son, so, Brutus' testimony, a week ago Brutus woke up in the crematorium situated in the graveyard on the corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street in southern Reed Heights. He was naked, covered in ranted slime and tagged as a corpse. Brutus was going to be burned alive but luckily for him he managed to escape. Brutus thinks that someone close to him planned to do away with him and then take his position. He doesn't remember much but thinks that the diary from the safe in his room may help him discover who it was somehow. I need to get inside the manor without causing alarm. Carpenter's Manor is in Southern Old Grove on Goldsbridge Road between Century Avenue and Hillside Street. A yellow tag. Jack White. So let's try to go here first. Pin evidence. Tag on map. Wayne Road and Phillips Street. Wayne. Reed Heights. Whoa. Reed Street. Wayne Road. On the corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street. So it's here. It looks like a flooded area as well. A compass mark. And um, we've got the fast travel point there as well. Nice. Boom. A new part of the city. I'm not. Very cool. Very cool. Let's do this. Right, it looked like this was a flooded area, so we might need to take a boat. Hello. Excuse me. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. <laughs> Buy a paper, mister. A mysterious woman in white. Huh. An old tram. Can't get up there, though. I like that white bowler hat. Hello. Look at all that. So cool. Okay. Yum. So first left. Corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street. That's a giant boy, okay. Hmm. Is this it? Crematorium, there we go. Is there a hobo mark on there? There is. Still haven't got much health. Oh dear, what's going to be in here? Office floor, funeral hall, morgue floor, crematorium two. Oh dear. No, thank you. This just gets darker and darker. Nothing there. Anything in the fireplace? There we go. Oriel, Ludo, come on, dude. Fuck it, man. Let, let's go bowling. Hmm. 
Nice. Completely destroying my immersion. Whoa. What is all this now? Crematorium Red Registry. Last week, person on duty, James Warren. List of the deceased, seven unidentified corpses. Cremated, J. Huss, S. Cole, V. Black, Jack White. To be cremated urgently. This week, person on duty, Robert Taylor, James Warren. Jack White. Hmm. Brutus is never going to change. After he regains power of his family, he'll continue as he always was. Murder will just be the start. A brush with death can make him more compassionate, make him see how precious life is. Hmm. Not sure about that yet. New mine palace clear. Jack White. Gunpowder. Well, that's not good. I locked up early today. The keys are on the table. P.S. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Be Butch. careful. Note on the door. Evidence updated. There we go. Save it. found here. It's going to come out of the floor. <sighs> Nothing. What's this? Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. <coughs> Indeed. Not another button to press. What was that? S Ugh, what a stench. <laughs> Ooh, what a mess. Okay. God. Hello. Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, it stinks. Hmm. Ah, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? Looking inside coffins. Damn, man. Doesn't look like it. Is there another? Part of this building? Hmm. Haven't collected all, all the evidence yet. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm. <coughs> that reference to doesn't even make sense because this is set in the 1920s. Daddy, Charles. Daddy. Ugh, what a stench. <laughs> Ooh, what a mess. What about outside? Christmas in Juvenile Hall. Get up there. Nope. Right. I like the rain. James Warren was on duty. He went on sick leave shortly after the incident. Double in the manor, having lots of sex. Uh... <laughs> oh, I hate this. Seems so inconsequential. <laughs> Handles broken, it looks like. Just wonder if I could get in through there. Definitely looked at everything here, haven't I? Judging by the dried blood and the dent on the shovel, it was used as a weapon. Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. I heard something moving, man. Aha! Right. What's up, Brutus? Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Looks like it's downstairs. Oh. 
What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Okay. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some cool. who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. Don't show me that thing again. Okay. I can't stand that thing, but key evidence collected, mine palace, nice. Brutus was brought to the crematorium by a group of people that had made a deal with one of the operators there. Later, when Brutus regained consciousness, he knocked the man out and escaped. I need to talk to James Warren, the man who was on shift when Brutus woke up. He's suffering from a head injury and requires urgent treatment. James Warren. Locate James Warren. Right, he'll be in the records, won't he? Hmm. This city hall? Cool. I think that's going to be it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.